High in the forests of New Caledonia, a small French territory in the South Pacific, a black bird glides across the canopy. At first glance, it looks ordinary, its sleek feathers catching the light and its wings slicing through humid air. Yet this is no ordinary bird. This is the New Caledonian crow, a creature that has forced scientists to reconsider the very definition of intelligence. For decades, humans assumed tool-making, problem-solving, and innovation belonged to us and to a handful of other mammals like chimpanzees or dolphins. But this crow shatters that idea with every twig it bends, every puzzle it solves, and every new generation it teaches. Researchers first began to notice something unusual in the late 20th century. Local observers reported that these crows were not just picking up sticks to forage for food, they were carefully stripping leaves, bending twigs into hooks, and fashioning tools with deliberate precision. What made the discovery so revolutionary was that the crows were not improvising on the spot. They were engineering solutions. Unlike most animals that use simple tools, like sea otters breaking shells with rocks, New Caledonian crows refine and customize their instruments. A stick becomes a spear, a leaf becomes a probe, and a piece of wire in a laboratory becomes a hook designed to fish food out of a container. One of the most famous examples occurred in an Oxford University experiment in 2002. A female crow named Betty was given a straight piece of wire and a container with food at the bottom. Without prior training, Betty bent the wire into a hook and used it to lift the food out. The scientists were stunned. Betty had never seen wire before. She had never been taught to bend objects. This was not instinct, it was innovation, an act of problem solving that demonstrated creativity and forward planning. For a bird with a brain smaller than a walnut, the result was world-changing. But Betty was not unique. Across New Caledonia, wild crows perform similar feats every day. They insert tools into logs to extract hidden grubs. They adjust the length and shape of their sticks depending on the depth of the hole, and they carry these tools from place to place. Some are so skilled that they even save and reuse their favorite tools, a behavior once thought limited to humans. The intelligence of these crows extends beyond tool making. In one striking set of experiments, researchers tested their understanding of water displacement, the same principle discovered by Archimedes thousands of years ago. A crow was shown a container with water and a piece of floating food that sat just out of reach. Nearby were pebbles. With deliberate precision, the crow picked up the pebbles one by one and dropped them into the container. As the water level rose, the food floated upward until it could be reached. The bird had demonstrated not only persistence, but an understanding of cause and effect. It could visualize the outcome of its actions, showing reasoning skills once believed to be exclusive to primates and humans. What makes these birds even more extraordinary is their culture of learning. Young New Caledonian crows are not born knowing how to make tools. They watch adults, especially their parents, and learn through imitation. Over time, they develop their own refinements and pass them along. This transmission of knowledge across generations means that crows, like humans, practice cultural evolution. Ideas improve, spread, and survive. In the dense forests of New Caledonia, crows are not only surviving, but creating traditions of intelligence. Their social memory is equally impressive. Like other corvids, these crows can recognize human faces and remember them for years. If a scientist once captured or threatened a crow, that individual becomes marked in the memory of not just one bird, but potentially an entire group. The forest becomes alive with warning calls whenever that face reappears. Such recognition demonstrates advanced memory and social awareness. It means these birds can distinguish between friend and foe, reward and danger, and act accordingly. 
The scientific community has had to grapple with the implications of this intelligence. Brain scans show that although bird brains are smaller in volume than mammalian brains, they are densely packed with neurons. In fact, the neuron density in a crow's brain rivals that of primates. Size, it turns out, is not the only factor in intelligence. Efficiency, complexity, and adaptability are what matter most. With these traits, the crow has carved a place among the most intelligent species on Earth. When compared with human children, the results are humbling. In several problem-solving tasks, New Caledonian crows performed as well as or better than five-year-old children. They understood sequences, they used tools in multi-step processes, and they adjusted their strategies when one solution failed. The parallels to human reasoning are undeniable. What is perhaps most remarkable is that this intelligence evolved along a completely separate evolutionary path. Birds and mammals diverged over 300 million years ago, yet here we are, two very different lineages, both producing species capable of innovation and cultural learning. But intelligence alone cannot shield the New Caledonian crow from danger. Its home is increasingly threatened by deforestation, logging and invasive species. While the birds remain relatively stable in number, their habitat is shrinking, and with it, the space for their extraordinary culture to thrive. Scientists warn that if these environments are lost, we risk erasing not only a bird species, but one of the most fascinating examples of animal intelligence in the natural world. Conservation efforts now frame the crow as more than just another forest bird. It is a window into the evolution of minds. Protecting it means preserving the knowledge, written not in books, but in behavior, passed from beak to beak over centuries. This crow forces us to rethink what it means to be intelligent. It reminds us that evolution is inventive and that the capacity for innovation can arise in unexpected places. As one watches a crow strip leaves from a twig, fashioning a delicate hook before diving it into the bark of a tree, it becomes impossible to dismiss its brilliance. The bird is not guessing, it is applying knowledge. It is making predictions, executing plans, and demonstrating a sophisticated understanding of its world. The crows will continue their work, bending twigs, solving puzzles, and proving that genius can take flight in feathers as well as flesh.